Welcome off stage at Orchestra Hall. It's intermission, and it's time to meet uh, John Hurd. John is the bassist in a duo bannering Oscar Peterson, and John comes from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. John, uh, as a bassist playing with Oscar Peterson, you're dealing with a full orchestra and a whole lot of spontaneity. Very well put. <laughs> what happens to you in that organization <laughs> where there are brasses reeds uh, in, in one coloration and then suddenly just the bare bones, the keyboard and you? Uh, is there anything planned ahead or is it uh, you hanging on for dear life? Yeah, you you probably said it at the end there. I'm just hanging on for dear life. But you no. love every moment of it. <laughs> That's right, I do. That's right. Well, you've uh, undoubtedly been a very astute listener and uh, have developed through your ear a certain discipline. How would you describe your role as a bassist playing with Oscar Peterson? Well, well, I have to I have to hold the uh, the on a, the on a, the on a tempo that he wants, you know, and I'm and I mean not I mean not that uh, consistently, you know, make it swing so 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 Oscar doesn't have to worry about that, and and the harm the harmonic part of it, and then I mean add a add a play to play the right notes what he's playing and the melody and so forth, you know. And it's, it isn't easy, but I enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot. Does, uh, does there exist a certain unwritten uh, kind of signal system between the two of you? Right, right. Well, for example, when it comes to tempo, what happens? Two fingers up, that means then <laughs> play out of Play play on a two beat when he puts four fingers up, that means that means I play, play four beat and and he'll and, and he'll nod to me, uh, indicating maybe he he'll then substitute a of voicing of, of harmony for another. You know, you know maybe maybe some some kind of ma a moving, you know, no, a passing. Yeah, voice. passing. Yeah, some kind of passing voice. And so I have to be on my toes to 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 hear, you know, and to anticipate what there's going to be. Sometimes I. I'm not always on the ball, but I get it most of the time. John, you're <laughs> modest. Um, certainly, there's got to be, a, you know, a, a violent challenge here for for the bassist. And, and you've been working with uh, Oscar Peterson for 12 months. Right. And uh, how did he discover you, or how did you find him? Well, well, out in Long Island, I was working with with a safety band at the time, and. Uh, Oscar was on the show, Ella Fitzgerald, and and had a guitarist, you know, and Joe Pat. And and Oscar would open up the show, then like that bass would play, play that, and then Ella, you know. So so like after after that bass set, I would go in the back because Ella had her own section with her, you know. Mm -hmm. So one night Oscar decided to hang around, and he was in the back back there playing on the piano. So I went and went in. We then took the bass and walked over, and, and we uh, hit a couple tunes. And you were jamming, right? And afterwards, he said, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna call you to work on me someday." You know, I didn't believe him, but here I am. <laughs> Working without the fear, yeah, right? <laughs> Are you enjoying it? Oh yes, 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 of course. One question. I, uh, I'm sure the listeners don't understand this, but there is no printed program. Do you know the order to the program? Do you know what compositions are going to be played from one night to the next? No, I don't. No, I don't. Are there any borderlines, boundaries, discipline that uh, preserve your sanity? Well, uh, if he if he decides to to end up to end up play play a song that that that, that we haven't played before, you know, be I out of for a concert, he might ask me if I if I'm if I if I've ever played that tune before, you know, and sometimes I'll, you know, if I'm if I'm certain of it, I'll say yes, and then he might play it during the show, you know, <laughs> instant arrangement more or less, you know, but or otherwise I'll say no, no, I don't know it, and 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 usually he won't play it. And sometimes he might, but I don't, but it isn't you know, usual, you know. 
What have you learned uh, and shared in the way of experiences with Oscar Peterson since you've uh, been in this uh, one-year environment of, of uh, the uh, dynamics of a full orchestra on a variegated instrument called an Oscar Peterson piano by any other name? <laughs> well, I've learned uh, you know, at, at a tremendous amount of discipline, you know, as, as far as my ears are concerned. And, uh, and 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 working uh, with such an awesome technician as Oscar is, I've I've learned to like uh, to try to be be more articulate on the instrument that I play, you know, because it's an in, it's an infectious kind of kind of a thing, you know. You want to kind of kind of kind of equal the the uh, the environment that you're in, you know. So. So it has me it has me working harder and harder trying to trying to keep up, which I'm very happy for. <laughs> John heard a pleasure to uh, sit here and exchange viewpoints uh, about the art of the rhythm section uh, that is labeled for Oscar Peterson and its responsibilities and its spontaneity. Thanks very much for the time. My pleasure being here. I uh, hope to see you again. Hope so too. <laughs> okay. Bye.